Hi, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. And as you will see, slightly different this time because A, I'm sat in a different spot and B, I've got someone with me. Yeah. Uh, I'd very much like to introduce uh, Aki San, nice. DS Audio. And uh, basically through my day job, where I, I work as a consultant in the in hi-fi industry, I, I, I do PR work and general consultancy for Sound Foundations, which is uh, DS Audio's UK distributor. And um, so, you know, I'm not being paid to do this video, but I want you to know that, that there is a business connection or a work connection. And, um, and it's, you know, frankly, it's only through that that uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to uh, and honoured to, to, to welcome Aki here to visit me. So, Aki, thanks. Uh, thanks yep. very much for coming. Hi. So I think I think I first met you in um, May 2015 at the High End yes. show. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And that in was the, Munich. Yeah. At Munich. Yeah. And that was your was that your that was when you officially launched DS or had you been already? Um, this is first time for me to go to Munich show. Okay, that was yeah. 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is first time I met with you mm -hmm. also Chris Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I know we, we, we um, it was uh, it was later in May 2015 that mm. Sound Foundations officially took on yeah. the distribution. We put out the press release on that. And and at that time it was just the W1, wasn't it? The, Only. The yes, Only the W1. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, well, I, I, I probably saw you every year for the following few <laughs> years, and, and we got the W1 and the, the Master One was next, I think, yes. wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that there. And then the, was it the 002? Yes, DSO2. next one is DS002. Yeah, and then the DSE1, was it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And then at that point, you you moved on to sort of second generation cartridges, is that right? Ah. Uh, before releasing a DS uh, E1, we released oh. a DSW2. Oh, the DSW2 came out before the U. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So that was the that was the first of the yeah. um, second generation. Yes. So to speak. And yeah. after releasing DS E1, mm -hmm. we released a Grandmaster, which is third generation cartridge. The Grandmaster. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which. Uh, which if, if viewers don't already know, like again, that's that's <laughs> that's part and parcel of why why Aki Aki San has come to visit, and um, again through work, uh, it, it, it's certainly not mine. I don't own it. I'm not that fortunate, but uh, I have been incredibly fortunate to borrow a Grandmaster um, set. That's equalizer and cartridge, and and well, it's 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 absolutely stunning. And I will uh, I'll, I'll insert some shots over the top of this so you can have a good look at it um and it really is it's it's um quite incredible and so that's that's actually been on the market now for what two and a half years around three years maybe. three years maybe yeah yeah okay okay and uh so since the the grandmaster that's where sort of trickle down technology ended up into the ds003 yes, yes 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 yeah 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 and we did this at DSW3 last year. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Mm. And um, so I think I think I hope I'm not being uh, I think I hope I'm not being out of order here. But I think I can announce that the the uh, DS Master Three yes is um, is due very soon. You and you'll be showing yes. at Munich this year. Yes, in May. we are going to bring DS Master Three in Munich. Awesome. Show. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what can you tell me about what's changed between the Master 1 and the Master 3? Uh, biggest difference is, as you know, uh, cartridge changing to the third generation, yeah. second generation to third generation. That is the biggest uh, difference. And uh, we are going to use a Diamond Country level for the Master 3 cartridge. Oh, okay. Now right. using a Sapphire Country level. Okay, right. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. The, awesome. Yeah, that's a big difference. And the equalizer side, we improve inside uh, parts yeah. for adjusting for the third generation cartridge. Right, cool. Sound is more clear yeah. and the deep is much richer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a difference. Awesome. Because I, I mean, the, the, the Grandmaster is, is uh, well, it's, it's, it's a staggering thing if the, if, if the Master 3 is, is, is anything close to that it will be it will yeah be, um 
the yeah. price will be almost half price of the yeah i think i think the yeah that's that's um yeah i'm gonna have to look at <laughs> mm. look at how i can afford it but it's it's the trouble with ds is once well you know i've, I've held off listening to it at home um for as long as i could possibly do so because because of course now i've done it it's that that complete lack of noise um and it's not to say that my aesthetics phono stage was creating noise but mm. the cartridge the moving coil cartridge i mm. use the miyajima it just picks up you can tell it's picking up motor hum it's picking mm -hmm. up all sorts of you know the, the noise is coming um from the cartridge so to mm. speak from from you know the uh, like I say, mostly from the turntable motor, and of course mm. that's not happening because you're not using an electromagnetic magnetic mm. generator, mm. but an optical generator. There is no magnetic field uh, resistance, mm. and mm. we don't use a magnetic field. No, there is no magnetic field. Yeah. Although one thing I'm really interested about is with the uh, Ion 001, which again mm. I'll, I'll insert some photos here. And it's taken me some time to actually install that, but I have actually finally got it installed. And, and my God, I have to tell you, it's the the the, the effect is is staggering. I I I bodged it up before now, and and um, yeah, it was it was far more efficient and elegant a solution than the Furatec D Stat Three, which is still, you know, um, a brilliant device. Uh, but the, the the thing about the Ion 001, mm -hmm. of course, because it's working the whole time, mm -hmm. and and it just absolutely floods the whole record playing area um, with with a, a, you know appropriately charged ions such that static just doesn't exist mm -hmm. uh, and can't be generated. I guess it's it, uh, but it's it's profound the difference it makes to the sound quality. We just mm -hmm. I've just done Aki the Dem here because I wanted to. Um, show him how <laughs> i just wanted to even though he made it <laughs> i wanted to demonstrate to him how yeah fantastic it work it works and it but the, the this the the real thing that surprised me is this is with an optical cartridge this is with a grandmaster and mm. it's so i'm guessing there's still you know that the the static the, the magnetism because i also use a furatech d mag mm. it's not you know, it's been. I suppose there's still circuitry inside the cartridge. There's sensitive electronic mm. components. There's tone arm wiring. All this stuff can, I guess, mm. be polluted by electromagnetic, you know, noise, static, mm. uh, and this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's it's a, it's awesome that you've got this um, solution and des mm. designed something so so um, so absolutely elegant and, and thorough that thoroughly deals with the problem. And I think that's one of the things about um, optical cartridges. It's not just that it's not an electromagnetic generator, so you don't get that electromagnetic noise. Because it's not an electromagnetic generator, you don't get that electromagnetic damping if you mm. if you try and pull a yeah. no drive unit. Resistance. You push a drive unit against a coil, you feel the damping of that. You feel mm. the resistance. And of course, you haven't got that. So the, yeah. The cantilever is utterly free to move in comparison with a moving coil or moving mm. magnetic cartridge, isn't it? And and that actually, in addition to the no the, the the lack of electromagnetic noise, suddenly you've got this incredible freedom to move because it's no electromagnetic damping, and then of course, the bits you're moving instead of coils or, or magnets are just shades. Um, and are they titanium? Is it or uh, shading plate. Yes. Um, no, just has a generation cartridge using a beryllium. Beryllium. Okay. Yeah. The shading plate. So they're. I mean, it's it's a it's a fraction of the fraction of the weight of even the smallest smallest yeah, very coil. Very small and very um, light. So so. Yeah. Um, quite incredible. Quite incredible. Um, cartridges and quite incredible sound. Um, so what 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 would you say led you to, um. Yeah, I, I, you've told me before. I know this, mm. but for the benefit of the viewers here, what what, what would you say led you to develop optical phono cartridges? As a background story, mm. uh, our company is uh, thirty five years old. Company, yeah. uh, our company was doing uh, optical car, optical product development for yep. the big companies. Yeah, and. So normally we work with a big company, so B two B business. Yeah. 
So when I joined my father's company yeah. uh, 11, 12 years ago, I want to make something new yeah. because our company normally doing business with a com big companies or uh, so B2B business. Yeah. So we have a technology, but there is no our company's name. So yeah. I want to do use our technology and use um, put uh, how to say something it? put it, put your own brand yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah 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 and at the time there is i i don't have an idea for the audio just i want i was thinking that i want to make something new yeah for the market yeah and during the time you know, i was looking for something for just one year or something like that yeah at that time, uh, our advisor uh, invited me to listen to the vinyl mm -hmm. because I'm now 36 years old. So at, before that, I never listened to the vinyl. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because my age using a CD, yeah, DVD. Yeah. <clears throat> no, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. 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 Of course, I like music and I was listening to the music by MD, CD and iPod. Yeah. Yeah. And I never listened to the vinyl anyway, and he invited me to his house, and uh, I listened to the vinyl. It was first time for me. He played for me uh, Michael Jackson Thriller. Okay, yeah. And the sound was, in was impressed for me. Yeah. Sounds was so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe that because the vinyl is black. I have to say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The sound is much, much better than my iPod. Mm, mm. At that time, I saw the newest product yeah. is sounding the best. Yeah, but it was wrong. Yeah, no, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I mean, that, that vinyl can. I still, to this day, have so many people coming, even yeah. professional people who, uh, yes. who I was mentioned to you earlier, like I've got, you know, mastering engineers and, mm. and recording engineers, mix engineers, producers. Who, who work in music and musicians, yeah. of course, who come around and they, they hear vinyl and they're just like, holy crap, I cannot believe mm. how good it sounds. Yes. And, and, and as, to, to this day, it's, it's, uh, there's nothing more exciting than, mm. than showing someone how great the music actually can sound. Yeah. That in some cases, they actually made themselves. Mm. They don't realise how good it can sound. Yes, I saw the same, same like that. And the um, mm. sound was so impressed. Yeah. And I asked him what what the sound is, why the sound is so good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, at the time, he was using a optical cartridge, optical cartridge which made by Toshiba. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. Fifty years ago. Right. Fifty uh, years ago. Yeah. yeah wow. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen seventy-two. Right. And, uh, wow. He was using the optical cartridge. Yeah. And I asked him, "What is this?" And uh, there is a right. Yep. And I never seen that. Um, yep. He described me the story. Yeah. Uh, the optical cartridge was the sound was really good, but at that time there is no LED. No, sure. Uh, sure. There is a heat issue. Yeah. And there is no hard good hardware at yep. that time. Yeah. And yeah. And he said to me, "If you can make it now, maybe sound is much better." And he gave me one optical cartridge to me right. because he was worked for Toshiba before. Okay, yeah. He had right. some optical cartridges. Okay, right, right. And he gave me one optical cartridge, and you can use it. And uh, the next day, I opened up the optical cartridge. Yeah. And Toshiba made one. The I thought, oh, that's very easy to make because yeah. there is a cantilever. Yeah. Rubber. Yeah. Putting on the shading plate. Yeah. That's it. Right. Only three parts. Yeah. I was thought, oh, very easy to make. Yeah. But yeah it was yeah, wrong, yeah. but at that time, okay. I think so. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then start, uh, at first, I went to Akihabara, which, uh, which is an electric city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can buy some many parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I bought uh, many LEDs. Right. That's, um, and I bought many photo detectors. Yeah. It cost few few dollars yeah per, per, per piece and I at first I changed the lamp to the LED right and 
and plays a vinyl. At that time, uh, the volume is really, really low. Okay, yeah. I played the music. I can hear something. <laughs> <laughs> and But the sound is not so bad. The sound right. is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a start. And then I tried to make many prototypes. Yeah. And the sound is getting, getting higher. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we get enough. Uh, output. Yeah. Uh, that is a story of the. Yeah. Story. Right. Okay. So when? How? When? When? When would that have been that you first sort of made your first uh, sort of experience? Uh, the experience. Yeah. Two thousand eleven or twelve. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. So about 10, 10, 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Now. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 And ten or eleven years ago, later, you've got a good range of cartridges, and um, yeah. and even even I've noticed, which I think is really really cool. Uh, a couple of years ago, you opened, you you shared mm. your technology, yes, such that other manufacturers yep. can um, can get involved if they want to. And I know there is yep. is there there's um, I think it's M Labs, EMM Labs have yes. made a, a, an optical equalizer. Yep. Um, is is the is Westminster Lab as well making one? Yep. Do you know of any other companies that have got them in the market yet? In Japan, uh, Solonode, okay, Japanese company, yeah, it's uh, supporting an optical cartridge. Right, that was the first one. And yeah. Uesugi tube uh -huh. phono equalizer, right. supporting an optical cartridge. Okay, yeah. And yeah. I cannot tell other company's name, but some company is developing the optical cartridge equalizer. And yeah, I know. Yeah, I can't really say either, but I know of at least one that's um, that's mm. working on it. And <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> they do. You know. Um, so it's 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 um, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Because it you, you know we've 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 grown up with with you know I know there's moving irons and and sort of other other cartridges over the years, but uh, really it's been moving magnet or moving coil for. Mm. 50 years pretty much exclusively and now there's there's something um that's that's you know literally revolutionizes mm -hmm. vinyl playback in, in in my experience and um it's it, it's really quite incredible and um i mean just to go on while you're here um the es001 i don't oh. i don't have one of those here yet. i mean I've, I've borrowed one you know from 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 uh from chris at work on on Two or three occasions and played with it, and it's 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 just, you know, again hell. You don't realise how mm. much difference actually accurately centering a record mm. makes. Um, and I, I I remember we had a conversation a, a, a couple of months ago now, and you were telling me about the. Um, uh, I think it was the, the um, the kind of the technical specification mm. for concentricity mm. um and and um because even things like spindle size and hole sizes they're, they're you know they're, they vary massively i mean my clear audio turntable i use has a i can't remember i can't remember off the top of my head what it is 7.3 maybe millimeters diameter i'm not I can't remember mm. but uh it's at the top end of the specification and mm. many records need to be you know drilled out reamed out um and, and uh, you know, I've got a clear audio LP drill, which I'll insert a photo of specifically for that purpose. Mm. But it's, you were telling me the, um, I mean, can you remember off the top of your head what the, what the, I don't know, is it, was it the RIAA or the AES or the NEB or something? There was some specification for record manufacturer and, you know, uh, acceptable eccentricity. Yeah, um, there is an industrial standard, mm. and the eccentricity, needed to be less than 200 microns. Okay, yeah, less than 200 microns. And I mean, 200 microns from my experience, you know, you wouldn't know that unless you had an ES001 to measure it, of course. Mm. But once you, you know, if you measure a record that's that far off, which is, you know, acceptable apparently, mm. it's, you know, that's that's one of those records where you, you'd be sending it back because it's noticeably um, wowing. Mm. But what get me is is the fact that when you get right down to say I don't know, um, you know between say twenty microns and fifty mm. microns, or between twenty and a hundred, or something mm. like that, it's not so much wow that you hear it as, mm. it's just a complete 
sharpening of the sound stage and the focus of every single instrument and it, again it's it's um you you know you wouldn't think you wouldn't think that that was affected by the speed of rotation but but i don't know maybe maybe it's actually the moving of the goalposts mm. every revolution of the yeah for the, the, cartridge so the moves so hard, hard. harder for the cartridge to read the grooves because the you know the goalposts are being moved so yeah. Um, but it, it, again, it's um, it's cool that you've come up with something so so revolutionary. Uh, yeah, important thing for the SN, about eccentricity is yeah. uh, now turntable bow flutter rate is very 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 low. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But if there is eccentricity, the bow flutter rate, the system bow yeah. flutter rate, sure, 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 get 20, 10 to twenty times worse. Yeah, yeah. So which means the you need to remove the eccentricity first otherwise yeah 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 you yeah, cannot yeah, get yeah. a good <clears throat> sure. rate uh, sure. if you use a very expensive accurate timetable yeah it doesn't matter the no. eccentricity gets more worse yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no that makes it makes so much sense but it, 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 until you've heard it it's um and it's funny, I suppose, you know, some of, the, some of the, you think, oh, this record sounds really, really great, you know, in your collection, and you play it, and it's, it's because it's actually been pressed centrally. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's something that's, uh, that's something that really struck me, definitely. Um, yes, I, I mean, have you got any other, other ideas for the future, future projects, things that you can, you can talk about? I mean, if you can't talk about them, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, I cannot tell the details about our development. Yes, yeah. our concept is very simple. Uh, our concept is creating the future of analog music. Yeah. So I want to. We want to make something new. We don't want to make some other people can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So we developing some new products, which has a unique features. Cool. <laughs> so we we always following our concept. Yeah, brilliant. like ESO one and optical yep. cartridges. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, no, that's super cool. That's super cool. I look forward to um, I look forward to seeing what you've got. You know what comes up, what can, yeah. what you come up with next. Well, after the after the Master Three, of course, mm. that's that's some um, that's going to be well very interesting yeah. for 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 me personally, definitely. Thank definitely. you very much. Yeah. Anyway, look. Aki-san, I, I, I just say once again, thank you so much yeah, for visiting thank me. You it's very been much, an yeah. absolute honour. And <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I really look forward to seeing what's next from DS yeah. Audio. And uh, I, I, I hope all, all, all the viewers have enjoyed uh, this little chat. Yeah. Uh, something of a ramble, but, you know, I, I, I felt it was, you know, too good an opportunity not to put it on the channel. So mm -hmm. thanks very much. And please uh, leave comments. And if you like the video, thumbs up like it share subscribe and um, check out ds audio yeah thank you thank you very much okay cheers bye